Welcome to CryptoQ. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to set up your WorldCoin wallet using the WorldCoin app. First things first, I'm going to be using my phone to download the wallet. If you're an iPhone user, you have to head over to the App Store. But if you're an Android user, go to the Play Store. I'm using iPhone. So right now I'm on the App Store, as you guys can see from the screen recording. And I'm just going to search WorldCoin. Just like that. And you just have to download it. After it's done downloading, open it. And over here, I have to create a password. I previously downloaded the app. It originally didn't start like this. So I'm just gonna create a password. So as you guys can see, this is what it looks like when you first log into the wallet. And then just click the dollar sign over there. Let's get started with WorldCoin Grants. Claim your weekly WorldCoin Grants to get funds to your wallet. Let's try and claim, let's see. So they're saying that I have 10 world coin that I can claim. So I'm just gonna claim that. Maybe later, I must scan in my eye. Mm, okay. The previous grant was 25 world coin, which is already expired. So 496,000 people have already claimed this and this was $43. So I guess it was the first $43 that people were getting. And then now you get weekly grants of 10 world coin, which is valued at, let me just check how much 10 world coin is. So I'm going to head over to CoinGecko, go to world coin, and let's put 10. So that's $17. So the first grant you got was $43. And the second one is pretty much $17. Okay, so I'm curious to see if this is like a weekly weekly thing that they give you, but it looks like it keeps reducing every time. And I thought I'd be able to claim it without getting my eyes scanned. <laughs> I am not a citizen or resident of the USA. I'm not currently located in the USA or using a VPN. I will not offer, sell or transfer world coin to a US person. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna take everything, continue. Okay, and let's try to reserve it. Cool. So the grant has been reserved. So I guess you can reserve it so that when it expires, you can still claim it. So prepare to redeem your reservation. Redeeming reservations will be possible soon. To do that, you need to verify your word ID by visiting an orb beforehand. Cool, let's see, find an orb. Mm, okay, so the same orbs in Kenya, our devices that verify biometrics to ensure each person has only one word ID, register to be first in line. Let's try register. Mm. Enter an email to be notified when orbs are available in your country. I'm just gonna put my email, but I'm not getting my eyes scanned. Cool, so they're saying that I'll be notified. I'm honestly just trying to see if I can get some, some free coins without getting my eyes scanned. <laughs> so they're saying the next one is on the 14th of August. Let's just see that one. Okay, they haven't told us how much it's going to be. So that's cool. Yeah. It looks like you have to get your eyes scanned if you wanna get some of these coins, man. You can now reserve word coin every week. Weekly grants. So it looks like you still need the word ID to allow you to claim these coins. You can't claim the free, the free coins without the word ID. So I guess you have to just get your eyes scanned. It looks like it's got a wallet side, this side. One for your world coin. You can store actual dollars into the card and you can store crypto. So it looks like you can only store Bitcoin and Ethereum for now. Let me just verify my phone number and see what's gonna happen. Let's go to the settings, go to account, phone number. Let's just put my number. Let's wait for the confirmation code. So that was pretty quick. I've been able to connect my phone number. They're saying I'm 25% done. Let me see what the other percentage is. So enable notifications to know when to claim. Let's just switch that on. Let's go back. Okay, so that didn't even move. Yeah, it looks like they really just want you to, they just really want to scan your eyes. Okay. So it looks like the, the functionality of the app is not really 100% if you are not fully verified. 
because I remember I've seen one of my friend's apps and in the wallet, you are able to see an M-Pesa option that allows you to pretty much buy some word coin using your M-Pesa, right? But then I guess because I've not necessarily finished the verification process, which means scanning my eyes, I cannot see the M-Pesa option. But if you still want to buy some word coin using the app, you just have to deposit some USD into your wallet to allow you to, to buy some word coin. But I still feel like if you're trying to buy some word coin and you don't want to get your eyes scanned, I don't think this is the best way still. If you look at the video that I uploaded just a few days ago, I go step by step showing you how to buy some word coin using Binance. So you first have to buy some cryptocurrency using M-Pesa if you're in Kenya, and then now you get some USDT and then you convert the USDT for some word coin. I feel like that's faster, easier, and yeah, it saves you from getting your eyes scanned if you don't want to get your eyes scanned. So yeah, I honestly don't see the benefit of having this wallet. I think I'm going to delete it. I was only going to keep it if I was going to be able to claim some, some word coin without getting my eyes scanned. So yeah, if you guys found any value in the content, definitely hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, hit that notification bell to get notified every time we make an upload. Till next time.